is up guys Alex here from Tech Labs and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can disable bloatware an easy and fast way so this might work on other uh, Android uh, phones as well as the tablets so let's get straight into it so guys it's a pretty simple way probably you know about it but if you didn't know uh, you will know about it and it's gonna be so easy for you to disable this bloatware so basically what you should do you should define which apps you don't want to use uh, on your smartphone then you have I have to go into the apps and then click edit and there you have this minus signs appeared here and you just scroll to the apps uh, which you want to disable for example for me I'd like to disable uh, let's see I've already disabled a bunch of them, but uh, let's see which one I'd like to disable. So let's disable, for instance, um, okay, so OneNote. I don't want to have OneNote on my phone because like, it's useless for me, I think. So I disable it, and later you can uh, enable it in your settings. So uh, if you want to see, guys, what I have disabled on my Galaxy S6, I'm going to show it to you right now. So I have to go to the settings, then applications, and then uh, default applications, or no, application manager, and then uh, go to the right side here, and all of the disabled applications are here. So as you can see, I have a bunch of them. Actually, a Samsung Link a Platform Connect, Samsung Gear, Samsung Galaxy, S Voice, S Voice is really, really a uh, resource, uh, resource uh, eater. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you disable this one, as well as the Pill Smart Remote if you don't use it. But actually, really handy stuff for those people who have TVs at uh, their homes. And then uh, Google Play Music, Google Play Movies. Yeah, all of this, all of that applications should be disabled. So, guys, I'm gonna go through all of them like really, really slow here. So you will see every application that I have disabled on my Galaxy S6. So if you have also the Galaxy S6 or Note 5 or Galaxy S6 Edge Plus or Galaxy S6 Edge, you may also do the same thing as I have here. But for, as I said, for every person there is a difference in apps, which one you'd like to use, which one you don't. So for me, it's only these applications I don't want to use. So yeah guys, that's it for now, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this little video, it's a quick tip for you, so it's not a full video on how you can disable those bloatware, maybe in the future if you will have more problems and you're gonna say about them in the comments below, so I'm gonna do a full review how you can disable this bloatware, but it's much more complicated than this and i think this one is much useful too and yeah thanks for watching guys this was alex with you and yeah so see you next time and peace to all